Pacific Island people are, are Christian. And so how does the Baha'i faith relate to Christianity? Are they giving up? Did you give up being a Christian if you're Baha'i? Not really, because uh, as uh, I said before, that uh, as a Baha'i, you are accepting all other religions and other prophets. And it's in that stage of progressing that you are progressing to another level of education with, uh, with a, a, a new teacher. And so it, it's really you are, you are not giving up your Christian faith. You, it, actually, you are confirming your belief in Christ and getting your knowledge deepened on Christianity and, uh, and uh, particularly with the, with the Bible and, uh, and all the teachings of Christ. So no, yeah, no, you are you're, you're not giving up your Christianity beliefs if you become a Baha'i. So did you grow up as a Baha'i? No, I was a Christian, brought up as a Catholic, then changed to other three or four different denominations of Christianity. Then uh, my father became a Baha'i, and that's one thing that struck me or attracted me to the faith is when when my father who was as you all know the head of the family if he changed a church the whole family goes to that church so there was a lot of changes in my family we even became Mormons but uh, when he became a Baha'i it was so unusual that he did not force us to become Baha'is. He just kept silent for a couple of years. And we asked him, why you are not forcing the family to become uh, Baha'is? And he said one of the principles of the Baha'i faith is the independent investigation of the truth. And he said that you have to find out yourself, you have to investigate the Baha'i faith, read their writings, and decide yourself if you want to become a Baha'i. Yeah, so that's the, that's the attraction. And then each one of us start to read the writings and my mother became a Baha'i after my father. And then four of us, us uh, kids eventually become Baha'is. <laughs>